What's going on, everyone? This is Lucas Ross Sports, Lucas Ross, your commentator, and we continue our 2022 college football predictions. The Oregon State Beavers are up next. I'll give you an official prediction on this team, give you my thoughts on this team, and go through the schedule, and we will go from there. But before we do that, let's look back at 2021 for this Oregon State team. In 2021, the Oregon State Beavers went 7-6 and six overall. Kind of up, kind of had an up and down season. It wasn't really a bad season, let's be honest. Oregon State wasn't that terrible. It just had an up and down season. That is all that matters. But there were some ups, there were some downs. But Oregon State, this has a, this has to chance. This team has a chance to be a top 25 team this year. It might have a chance to be successful in last year as well. With the offense and defensive rankings from last year's team, 44th on offense. Not a bad number there. It could be a top 30 offense this season, maybe a top 35 de offense. So expecting them to be a you know really good on offense this year. Defensively, they were 64th in the 61st in the country last year on defense. Not a good number there, but you know I think this defense will be much better than people might say this year as well. Offensively, points per game they went 31 point and a half points a game last year. They had 31 point and a half points a game last year. Opponents given up 25.8 points a game last year, given up on the defensive side of the ball. So, I mean, there's a lot to expect from this team this year. They just got to go through the schedule and see what their record will be. And here's that schedule for 2022 for Oregon State. You see that opening game against Boise State. Not a bad team, to be honest with you guys. They're a great group of five team. This is a home game, though, for Oregon State. You know, it's a home field advantage for them. This game is on September 3rd. It's the opening game of the season for them. But this game right here will be close. Boise State's a good group of five team. Not a terrible team. Somewhat of a good team. Not a great team, but they're a team to look out for in the group of five teams. I don't really study group of five teams, to be honest, but I think Oregon State does win this one. I think they start out the season 1-0 against Boise State. It will be a close game, maybe in the first half, but I think second half it does go you know, to Oregon State. And the reason why I didn't put any win yet for, you know, the Fresno State game is because this is not going to be an easy game. Fresno State was a great team last year. They're a team to definitely not sleep on this year. You know, they're a good group of five team as well, so really expect them to be really good again. This one is on the road. But I think Oregon State, I, they're a power five team, so I got to go with the Oregon State Beavers on this one. And I think they do get the win on the road at Fresno State. They also take care of business against Montana State at home, so they start out the season 3 0. Then they get to Pac 12 play. They open up with USC. This is not going to be an easy game here. Lincoln Riley coming over. You know, what is USC going to look like? Caleb Williams also coming over there. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what the Trojans look like. But remember, the Pac-12 is different this year. They are just doing the top two teams now for the Pac-12 championship. There's no North and South now, so, I mean, that's pretty interesting. But Oregon State, you know, they have home field advantage in this game. But I think with Lincoln Riley coming over there, that USC offense is going to be explosive. And I think USC does get the win here. So, I mean, it's really going to be a, about that offense there for Oregon State. They have to score some points in this game, which I think they will. I think they do score some points, but it won't be enough. Maybe a shootout game, but I think USC does win it here at the end of the day. USC might be a top 25 team by this point as well as Oregon State, so I mean, it could be a top 25 matchup. Next game is on the road at Utah. Utah was a great team last year. They won 10 games. You know, Utah could be one of those top three teams out of the Pac-12 this year as well, so I mean, it's a really tough game here on the road. But I see Oregon State really competing. It depends if they can score some points. But Utah is really a dangerous team. And I think with it being on the road, I don't really see Oregon State coming out on top in this one. It will be a close one, but Utah does win it here at the end of the day. So I'm really seeing this to be, you know, a game that can go either way. But I think Utah does win it here. And then there's that game on the road at Stanford. A tough place to play here. Stanford is going to be a dangerous team this year. Let's be honest. I'm really high on this Stanford team. Like I said, they bring a lot back on the offensive side. Almost everybody back on the offense defensively. You know, almost everybody back there. So, I mean, does Stanford have the talent? You know, is Stanford going to have the talent this year? Yes, they will. You know, they have a veteran team this year. So, they, there's no reason why they shouldn't be so good. I know Stanford 
You know, I know people are doubting Stanford a little bit, but I think Oregon State does compete in this game, maybe in the first half. But I think Stanford does win it here at the end of the day. I just think Stanford is going to be a lot dangerous on that offensive side of the ball, you know, with all that experience coming back at wide receivers, quarterback as well. So, I mean, there's a lot coming back on that offensive side of the ball for Stanford. Next game is at home against Washington State. This is another t game that, you know, I don't really see it going either way, to be honest. Washington State's going to be a young team this year. Washington State's been a down team every single year, it seems like, and they just haven't been able to get back into that Pac-12, you know, category, and they haven't been able to, you know, get better as a program or anything like that. I think Washington State's a disaster right now, and I think Oregon State does redeem, them, redeem themselves after three losses in a row, and I think they finally get a win here, so... And then there's that game at home against Colorado. Colorado might be a team that, that is not really high on this year as well. Not really high on this team, to be honest. I think it's a team that, you know, is going to have a tough year. Colorado doesn't really have an easy schedule either, so I think that's why that, you know, Colorado's going to have a difficult season. But, you know, they weren't good last year either, so, I mean, there's a lot of question marks surrounding that program as well. I think Oregon State does get it done here at home against Colorado. And then they get to the month of November with a record of 5-3. and three. They go on the road at Washington. Tough place to play here. Washington going to be an interesting team this year. Washington wasn't that great last year, but I think they're much better than they were last year. Let's be honest. I think they're much better than they were last year. Um, Oregon State, though, will compete in this game. It will be a close one, maybe in the first half, but I've seen this game going into the fourth quarter. Washington and Oregon State. This could be a top 25 matchup, but I think Oregon State won't be ranked in the top 25 by this point after those three losses in a row to, you know, USC, Utah, and Stanford. But at the end of the day, though, with it being on the road, I see Washington just pulling away with this one. I think Washington does win this one, you know, by, you know, maybe, a, maybe two touchdowns. I think two touchdowns will probably be enough, but I think Oregon State does come up short, but they will compete. Don't really sleep on that game. Next game is at home against California, or for Cal for shorts. I think Cal's going to be a team that, you know, might be down a little bit this year as well. I mean, Cal wasn't that good last year either, so, I mean, there's a lot of things to look, look on for this California team. But this is a game I think Oregon State will take care of business, and I think they do win this one by a blowout. I think they do win it here, so I think they redeem themselves after that loss to Washington. And they get on the road at Arizona State. Tough place to play here as well. Arizona State's going to be a team to look out for as well. I'm really high on this team. You know, they could potentially go to the Pac-12 championship, but not really considering them to be, you know, the top, you know, not really considering Arizona State to be a top three Pac-12 team. I'm considering them maybe a top five, you know, maybe. But this one is on the road, and I think Arizona State has the better offense in this game. Eventually, it goes to Oregon State, but I think it's going to be a win there for Arizona State. I think Oregon State will come up short in this one, but it's going to be a game that can go either way. Don't really sleep on it. And then there's that final game at home against Oregon. You know, this game is on a Friday. I went through Oregon last week and I said the returning production percentage goes to a returning production advantage goes to Oregon State. And like I said, I picked Oregon State to win. If you want to go back and watch that Oregon video, I did predict Oregon State to win because the home field advantage, I think Oregon's going to be a little bit, you know, down in their first year, but they're still going to go to a bowl game, no doubt about it. But, I mean, they're going to just ruin Oregon's chances of making, probably making the Pac-12 championship in their first year as well. So, I mean, they're going to really ruin that for them. And it's a rival game, too, because rivalries are always, you know, tough to pick on. But I think Oregon State does win. I think it's going to be a shootout game, maybe a, you know, high-scoring game as well. So, but, you know, they get the win there. I think it, it does get them the win. So, I mean, that's a really responsible win there. And I think the overall record does come out to be 7-5 and five for Oregon State, the same record as last year for this Oregon State team. So 7-5 and five is, you know, not a winning record, but let's be honest, 8-4 and four is potentially possible. You know, they could still win against that USC team. They could beat Utah probably, but I think Oregon State, you know, does finish out 7-5. and five. But don't really sleep on that Fresno State game and Boise State game. Those are not two tough games right there to not sleep on. I think Oregon State does come out to be 7-5. Give me your thoughts on this team down in the comments below. And stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.